Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. In today's video, we do not have a flyover for you. Sorry about that, but we're having some logistical problems with getting our flyovers done. So we're gonna, we're, we're gonna fix it, promise. So what we're doing is today is we're gonna do a Nikola update and tomorrow we'll hopefully have a flyover for you for both Nikola and Lucid. So today's update is on a tweet that Nikola put out. I thought it was pretty exciting. So let's go take a look at that real quick. There we go. Look at that. Coolidge update. Phase one is complete, which is fantastic news. That's the section that they've been putting on since about September of last year. And that added about 100, 150,000 square foot to the factory. And now they have the production capacity of 2,500 trucks. This is an actual production line. These aren't necessarily hand built. It's, it's automated with people on it just installing things instead of just what they were doing before so this is great news so this is this doesn't mean that they will produce 2500 trucks it means that they can they have the the production capability to do that what they are going to produce this year is 300 to 500 trucks and that is dependent on supplies the more supplies that they get in the more materials the closer they'll get to 500 they've got the orders for it or they have the lois the letters of intent and once those are uh, proven successful, the test trucks, they'll go ahead and start creating these trucks. And that's a big thing. So that's the next thing that we're looking for uh, on Nikola is to see these LOIs turn into actual purchase orders. And when that happens, I think the, the stock is gonna react to that. Not sure how or how much, but I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be good because that's when these orders are actually uh, solid. So what we have here, and you can see, we're gonna take a look at this big screen real quick. This is, this is the factory, and this area over here where my mouse is, where that car is driving or truck, is where the new section of the factory is going to start. They've already removed a lot of the material uh, that you might see here. Um, you can see in the front, this is the employee parking lot. This is actually already paved. This video is from a couple weeks ago. So they've definitely uh, made some progress, as they always are. Um, so once the next phase is done, we're looking at 20000 trucks per year that is the capability of the the new section so let's take another look at the area here it's this area this is almost doubling in size the entire factory it's it's probably increasing it uh maybe 70 percent so this is this is a big area and this is just what they're showing on the investor page uh, on their site plans which we have also let's take a look at that so here we have the site plans these site plans right here you can see the green area right here. That's the section we were just looking at. There's another green area right here. This is supposed to be an administrative building over here on the left, which is the west side. That is a, an electrical substation. Not sure if they're going to be building that in the phase uh, just because they haven't mentioned it. But around here, you see this big green circle. That is going to be their one and a half mile test track. So that, just, that is going to be done. I have heard from my sources and that is going to be completed. And we know that this is it's supposed to be done by early 2023 and quarter one. So January, February, March, they're going to have that done and they are rocking and rolling. So hats off to Nicola. You're doing it. You're doing what you said you're doing and you're on your schedule. Despite all the, uh, the haters and the disbelievers, uh, right now I I'm impressed that everything is going along right as, uh, it's planned. Okay, guys, that's it for now. I want to thank everyone for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I want to send out our thanks to our Patreons for helping support the channel. We appreciate you guys. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.